Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the branching actions available in Zenfi to create simple or advanced logic in your process. Uh, to make it easier, I have created a form as an example, and we want to create some conditions for this form. The form is a discount request, has got a client name, client uh, email, client name, country, got a few options here, and also a discount rate where I can put uh, a number here, for example, 20%. Now, let's just get started with a, um, one of the most common actions used um, to create a branch, to create branching which is if condition. If condition enables you to uh, define one or many actions and get a yes or no, true or false uh, result out of it. You can define uh, conditions here by clicking this item. For example, we want to say if the discount rate is greater than 20. So I can select when and I can select the this value. This is a number, that's why you see these operators which are available for numbers. For example, I can say if discount rate is greater than 20. Okay, now I can go and add more conditions here, mix and match, and also the client is, um, I can select, for example, client country. Now, because this is not a number, this is a string, you, you will notice the operators are different. The country equals to uh, Australia. So this condition builder is quite powerful. Actually, you can add more conditions. You can um, add an or condition if required. For example, here we can come and say if the condition, if the country equals to Australia or the country equals to Canada. Um, so our condition uh, would be when the discount rate is greater than 20 and the, con uh, the country is Australia or Canada. Then once we define it, it's going to go to the true branch and we can decide what we want to do in the true branch. Otherwise, it's going to go to the false branch. So it basically gives you an option of yes or no, true or false. And based on the conditions you define here, uh, it can go either way. Okay, the next one is uh, switch by value. The switch by value enables you um, to select a, a dynamic input and create different branches. For example, here I can say, go and switch based on the country. Then I can create branches. If the country is USA, this is a branch for USA. If the country is Australia, this is a branch for Australia. This is a con uh, branch for Canada. And we have one more, UK. UK. And then we've got a default branch as well. Um, so what, what happens is, if I come here and select USA or any one of these countries, it's going to, when, when it comes here, it's going to match which country I've selected. And based on, do, based on the selection, it goes to the respective branch. It's going to be either USA, Australia, Canada, UK. And now there's also always a default branch. You can leave it empty. That means if there is, uh, if it's not in any one of these things, then what is it that you want to do? So that's, that's switch by value. The last one I want to show you is switch. This is the most flexible, most powerful uh, branching uh, um, action that we've got in Zenfi. So it's a mixture of if condition and a switch by value. Here, you can, can have different branches as well. But the difference is that for each branch, you can define one or more conditions. So here I can come and say, if uh, the discount rate equal, uh, is greater than 20 and the country, um, the country equals to Australia, Australia, go to the first branch. So I name it uh, 20 greater than 20 and Australia. So 
what's going to happen when it comes to this switch. It starts from the left to right. It uh, tries to evaluate the condition here. If it matches the condition, it goes to this branch. I can comment the, uh, if it doesn't, comes to the second branch. And for second branch, you can define different set of conditions as well. You know, you can say, um, if the discount rate is um, greater than um, 20 as well, greater than 20, and the, con um, and the country, equals to USA, um, but the name is the same, 20 and uh, USA. So it's going to go to this branch and so on. You can go and add different branches as well if you uh, wish to do so. And you can define different co uh, conditions for uh, each of the branches. And like the value, uh, switch by value, there's also a default branch. If it doesn't start again, it starts from the left to right. If it doesn't go to this branch, then go twice this branch. And if it doesn't, uh, moves on to the next branch, unless all branches are gone. And then if it doesn't qualify for any of the branches, it goes to the default branch. As you can see, there are various ways in Zenfi to create sophisticated logic in your flow with just a few drag and drop and configuration. So, yeah, as you can see in Zenfi, there are different ways. To create simple or advanced logic. Um, the team has put in a lot of effort to make it as uh, easy as possible for you to create even the most sophisticated logic logics in your flow. Um, please give it a go, uh, try it out and um, let us know if you've got any suggestions or any feedback. Thank you very much.